Trump brought up. Joining us now, CNN national security commentator Mike Rogers and CNN senior national security analyst Lisa Monaco. Welcome to you both. Mike Rogers, I I've been thinking this morning going through this, trying to understand how you have uh, administration officials, members of the national security team, who say one thing and a president who says the other. It is as if President Bush, after 9-11, would have said, well, you know, this Al-Qaeda threat and them attacking us again, you know, I think that's overblown. You know, we're not really sure it was Al-Qaeda. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think it's a big deal. In fact, it's, 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 it's a hoax while the entire government put the country on a war footing, uh, war footing. Is that not the analogy that applies here? Well, I, don't, I just don't think it's helpful when the president gets off the reservation or maybe never comes onto the reservation on a particular issue, especially this one. You know, the, the Russians are doing more than just targeting uh, our elections. There was a public report not that long ago. They were, they were trying to get into our electric grid. They've been much more aggressive in cyberspace in a very bad way in the last probably year. And all of that's a problem. That's why you saw all of those folks on the podium saying, hey, we have a problem uh, and we are uh, at least telling our workforces and, the, and America we are going to do something about it. That part I thought was good. I wish the president, I, I think the president can't, he just, he cannot make the difference between uh, the Russians swinging an election and right. what the Russians are trying to do uh, by just interfering in American politics. He just can't separate the two, and I think that's why he says things like he did last night after, I, the, after these folks. Can I just there. follow on one point on that and, and yeah. point to Lisa? Because I'm, I'm not even equating 9-11 with what the interference was in 2016. It's the comparison to the response. Do you think the president distancing himself from what the government is doing undercuts the effectiveness of what the government is doing to detect further interference and to protect the country's infrastructure against that interference? So, David, I think your analogy works in the following way. You have the intelligence chiefs, that national security officials, saying our country is under attack, our democracy is in the crosshairs, the system is blinking red. That's what the director of national intelligence said a few weeks ago. All of the same kind of verbiage we had around 9-11. And then you have the commander-in-chief, the president, not echoing those same statements. And in fact, in many places, including standing next to our main adversary, uh, not taking the opportunity to echo they, those statements and indeed to undercut the intelligence community and his law enforcement community, which is trying uh, to seek justice, to, uh, to hold people accountable for the attack on our democracy that happened in 2016 and that President Trump's own national security officials say is ongoing and pervasive. It gets even more confusing, guys, because our reporting is that President Trump agreed to have those national security officials go out to the podium or even sent them out to the podium. And so Phil Mudd, who you all know, I believe, he's one of our CNN analysts. He's a former CIA and FBI counterterrorism official. He said that he believes that the only reason that the president would send them out when the president doesn't believe what they were saying was a PR stunt. So listen to him. That was not a security meeting yesterday. Let me throw a penalty flag here. And that was not a red light. That was the White House using a bunch of people so for the next two months they can use a talking point that said, hey, every time somebody raises Russia to Sarah Sanders, she's going to say, look, the president directed those guys you saw and, and also those women you saw on the podium to go do something about Russia. That was a PR stunt. Give me a break. Yes, they got used. So, Mike Rogers, he's not suggesting that they were disingenuous, that obviously they want to get their message out. They'll take any opportunity they can, our national security heads, um, but that this somehow gives the president cover when he then calls it a hoax. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I, I, I think it was great that the, we had all of our intelligence officials up there saying this is a problem. And then they outlined a little bit what each department is going to do. The one thing that I didn't like about it is there's just not one person calling the shots from the White House <clears throat> on coordinating a really difficult effort, which is this cyber problem. But having them out there, uh, uh, Allison, I, I just think good on those folks for getting out there for whatever the reason the president said they ought to go out there. You know, and some have even argued that, that maybe it's a legal strategy that he can go in and say, these are all the 10 things I did on Russia. How can I be colluding with Russia mm -hmm. in some other way? Okay, got that too. 
the important thing is we are under siege uh, and, and cyber is getting worse. And it is the Russians plus other nation states now getting into this game. And without this very public push, I think the workforce was getting discouraged. I think uh, maybe some of our efforts wouldn't have gotten done. Mm -hmm. Now these folks can come back to the White House and say, we want offensive uh, operation right. status on these types of things. All of that to me.